day. All right, let's go see what's up with our glass beach. Okay, here we are. Just talked to some girls. They said they couldn't find hardly any glass. So, that might be up to go down that way. Go down, down here. But, yeah, so everything I've read, they said most of the glass has been picked over. But we're going to give it a shot because it's been on my list for a long, long time. And we're in the area, so here we go. Hunting for the sea glass. see here. A whale bench. That's kind of cool. It's a really pretty beach. All right. So, honey, we'll be down here. I don't know how steep it is over here. I'm thinking maybe down here. I know you have to scramble down these. Get to this side, so all right. So, you gotta scramble down these rocks here. And we made it to Glass Beach. Here it all is. It's all over the beach here. I mean, they're smaller. I don't know what people were talking about because it's not here, it's here. It's like it's the sand. Tide is rising, so we're gonna have to get out of here. You definitely need to make sure you come here at low tide. Because there's rough seas out here for sure. You can see it all sparkling. Is this? and a handful of sand. So it looks 
like there's only little sea glass, but when you skim back here, further back, I'm going to be skimmed and we're finding some good ones in here. So, a good one. Yeah, so it's like you skim with your foot a little further back from the shoreline. And that's where you find the good ones. Oh my gosh, look, I just skimmed. And I found a chunk of abalone. I'm listening in here. Yeah, you just skim and put your oh, No way. You guys, look at that sea glass. This guy's like the, the gem finding guru over here. He is, he's got a light blue one, a dark blue one. Look at him go. He's a gemologist. Wait, stop. I see one. Stop. I see one over here. I thought I saw something over here. It's like mixed. I found one that has like an embedded wrapper from the glass bottle on it. See that? I forget what this is called. It's like poison. So. Right. so it's time to go to our next stop. This was more of a success than I thought it was going to be. Actually. And what everybody was saying online that everything's gone. But I think they're not going to the right section. You actually have to scramble down the cliffs to get to the section with all of it. Everyone else goes over there along this easy trail. So if you hike down these cliffs, if you're comfortable with that, you can find them. The boot scraping is a success. I even found one of the, oops, one of the rare blue ones. All right, successful trip. Anthony's showing us the way up, the easier way. We, we made it harder than it had to be. Okay, so we're just leaving Glass Beach. It used to be an old dump site, um, and all the bottles have now like disintegrated, and they're, it's like sand all over the beach now. And so you just have sea glass everywhere. So what did you think of this one? It's cool. I gave it a four. Uh, five shotguns to the ocean. Nice little stroll down to the beach, down a little cliff. Nice polished glass everywhere, so it's really cool looking. Uh, I like it. Awesome. So yeah, definitely recommend this if you guys can stop um, to actually see the sea glass. So you need to go down the cliffs here. This this side's easier. There's a little trail off to the left of the parking lot. Take the trail down. Um, use your boots to scoot some of the big rocks away, and you should find some good ones for pictures and stuff. So yeah. Now we're on to our next sleeping spot. And there you have Glass Beach. Like I said, parking lot here. Go to the left. That's your spot. This poor couple, she left her purse and right, they got here the same time we did. Somebody got her purse. So that's something to be worried about. <laughs>